in this uh, screencast, I just want to go over um, the typical start sequence. So in the cockpit, the first thing that will happen is the pilot will switch on the ignition. So when he switches on the ignition, the starter motor will begin to spool up. And when it spools up, the engine RPM begins to, uh, to begins to increase also. So you can see the, the RPM beginning to go up here. And at you know at a particular RPM, there will be enough fuel pressure uh, to open up the um, simplex or duplex valves in the fuel nozzles, and that will uh, that will allow the fuel to start spraying into the uh, engine. So when that happens, then the fuel is on, and all through the through the sequence now. You know the igniters in the engine are sparking also so they spark at a rate of maybe 60 times a minute so they're sparking and the fuel has just come in so at some stage the engine will will light up so that the rpm has been has been building up due to the starter motor and now we've got ignition so once ignition happens, then uh, the temperature increases. So there was no real increase in temperature onto the light up. And when, it, when we get light up, the temperature starts to, to increase. So when the light up occurs, when light up occurs, then air is flowing um, through the compressor can and out through the turbine. So this warm air then is turning the turbines and the turbines are now turning the compressors and the compressors now get to a speed which we call self-sustaining speed. In other words, the, the engine is turning at, at a rate fast enough to supply air and fuel into the combustion can that, that we don't need the starter motors anymore. So the next stage is the starter motor cuts out. Now during all this time, the fuel is being burnt into in the uh, in the combustion can, and we reach uh, peak temperature. And then there's you know as the RPM is building up, there's more air coming in, so the temperature begins to cool, cool down. So we've reached self-sustaining speed. The starter cuts out. The engine continues to increase until it gets to its idle RPM, and when it's at its idle RPM. The RPMs will just, you know, level out, as will the, the EGT. So that is uh, a typical start sequence.